Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about, is an iPad worth getting if you're an artist? What up guys, I'm Art by Frank, and if you're new here, I make creative videos for creative people just like you. I do tutorials, reviews, social media advice for creative people and artists. If you enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like button, or don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about iPads for art. Now a lot of people slide into my DMs and they say, should I buy an iPad? Many of them are creative people, many of them are artists. In this video, I'm gonna go over a few things like how much do they cost, what are the pros, what are the cons, and maybe help you sway your mind to whether you should get one or not. First off, I wanna be clear, buying an iPad is not gonna make you a better artist. You're not gonna be miraculously better just because you have one of these things. I just wanted everyone to understand that an iPad is just a tool and not a secret weapon. So what are the pros about getting an iPad? Well, you can save multiple designs on one app, you can edit quick and fast without having to start over, and you save a ton of money on art supplies. Who doesn't like that? There's a lot of pros on using this type of technology, especially for people who do art as their career. Now for me personally, I'm a tattoo artist, so I do designs all the time. I'm making new ones every single day. And sometimes clients can change their mind quite a bit. So for me, I can go into the iPad and I can take that design and edit it on those different layers rather than starting the drawing over again. This for me makes it actually a lot easier and cuts my time in half when it comes to creating pieces for work. Also, I have all my elements to my drawing like my lining, my shading, my highlights, all on different layers. So if there's a problem or I need to just select only lines, I could do that. You're probably like, okay, you brought up a few points, but are there any bad things? Are there any cons? Well, there's not many downfalls per se, but there are a few things. One of the downfalls a lot of people don't like about people who draw digitally is that they're not using traditional media. You still can make art with different mediums. You don't have to strictly stick to digital just because you have this. You can also use it to make stencils or sketches for big paintings so you don't have to start over all the time. Again, nothing beats a classic pencil or paper, but that's an easy fix. You can use that stuff whenever you want. Another thing is they can get pretty pricey. An iPad in Canada, just because I live here, I'm gonna use those price ranges. Between $500 and $1,300 is probably what you can get it for. That depends on how fancy you wanna get with the specs or what generation you wanna use. Oh, and the Apple Pencil is an extra $130 just for the pencil alone. Now, I just wanna remind everybody, you can't use certain generation pencils with certain generation iPads. So make sure you do your research before you buy the pencil or the iPad so that you're not buying two different things that don't work. You can use alternative pencils if you really want to, but nothing is as precise as the Apple Pencil. Yes, it is expensive, but in the long run, you're gonna get way better results in your artwork just because the technology is amazing. So to keep this video kind of simple and straight to the point, you don't really need an iPad for your art, but if you do have the extra money lying around, if you do use it for work, if you wanna make your clients happy and also get your workflow flowing a little better, I personally would suggest you invest in one. Seeing that times are kind of tough and people don't really have that extra money to spend, I believe you can buy them used from apple.com if I'm not mistaken or you could just buy them used off of your local classified straight from the internet. Just be careful if you do this, because if you do buy the wrong iPad or you buy something that's kind of broken, you're gonna end up spending more money than you wanted to and buy a new one anyway. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you got a little bit of information at least on what to do if you're thinking about buying an iPad for your art. I wanna know in the comments below, do you have one already? Are you gonna get one? Do you like it? Is it helpful? And if you don't have one, what made you wait so long? Comment in the comment section below and I'm gonna be answering questions as well as join in on the conversation with you guys oh also add your Instagrams I want to see what you creative people are working on and I want to see what my subscribers are doing creatively that way we can form a great community here with that being said guys thanks so much for watching I will see you in the next video make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out and if you really want to hit that notification button just so you get reminded when I post a new one I'll see you guys next time peace